Contenders Internet Marketing Daily Quick Tip. Today's tip is on search engine optimization. Today's tip comes from a question, what's the point of the meta description tag? Is it just there for SEO? And that brings us to today's tip of the day. The meta description tag is more about getting click-throughs from search engine results than it is for SEO. So what do I mean by that? Well, the meta description tag is considered to be for two main purposes. The first and most important purpose, and unfortunately the one people don't think about a lot of times, is that the meta description tag can actually be selected as the text that's being shown on the search results page. And we'll look at an example of that in a second. And then on the other end, the meta description tag can be used by some search engines as a ranking factor. But you'll notice here that I'm saying that it's not Google. Google came out in 2009 and they said that they're not going to be using the meta description tag anymore as a search engine ranking factor. Now, with that said, there's other search engines out there that might be using it. And also, Google is known to say that certain things are not going to be used as a ranking factor anymore, only to bring them back later or never stop using them. So just keep that in mind. So let's look at an example of the meta description tag in the search results. When your website is in the search results, you'll notice that that blue and clickable text up at the top is the title tag. And then underneath that, you're either going to have your actual meta description, so the meta description that you you write or a snippet from your website. Now, how do you control which gets used? Well, that's actually up to Google. You can't really control that. But what you can do is make sure you're writing a good meta description tag. So if it does appear and someone does read it in the search results page, it's going to make them want to click through. So what are some good meta description tips? First off, write it like you'd write solid ad copy. Think about what you might be writing if you have pay-per-click ads running. Think about the wording that you use there and the things that you use to pull people into the site. You want to write solid ad copy that's going to make people interested enough to click on your search result. Also, you want to use about 150 to 160 characters maximum, and that's just because that's about the number of characters that they actually display in the search results. So if your call to action is after 150 or 160 characters, it might not even show up in the search results and that might hurt the performance of the click-throughs on your company's website's listing. Also, and this is really important, make sure you have original tags for every page. Now that's title tags and meta tags. Really make sure that you're writing up individual ones for every page. A lot of small businesses get caught in the trap where they go out and they have somebody make their website and the title tag and the meta tags are the same for every single page and that's not the right thing to do. And finally, avoid using non-alphanumeric characters in your meta description tag. There's some non-alphanumeric characters that will cause search engines to actually truncate your meta description when they're displaying it in the search results and you don't want that. You want your whole message shown. So just keep that in mind. Avoid those non-alphanumeric characters. So today's goal is to go to your website and review your meta description tags and ask yourself if they're good ad text or if they could use some work. If they could use some work, make a plan for yourself to go through and change up those meta description tags. Remember, this is more important for getting click-throughs from search engines and actually getting search engine rankings. It's good to use the keywords in those meta descriptions, yes, But remember that the most important part is that when somebody reads it, it makes them want to click through to your website. And that's today's Internet Marketing Daily Quick Tip. Next time, we're going to talk about Internet advertising. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out Kutenda. Kutenda is smart Internet marketing for small and local businesses. We help your business grow by marketing itself online. We help you establish a web presence, gain search engine visibility, engage in social media, market with email marketing. We help shorten your sales cycle with follow-up marketing. We help you close more sales, and we give you the training that you need so you know how to use all these tactics to benefit your business. So check us out at kutenda.com. And also, if you have an internet marketing question and you think we could turn it into a tip, email it to tips at kutenda.com. And also, you can subscribe to these tips as a podcast on iTunes. Just go to iTunes, type in Kutenda, and you'll find us there. Thanks so much for watching today. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.